Well, our Chris Valero has been following the Groupon story for several months. And Chris, what are you finding uh, right now here? So I'm looking through this S1 filing right now, uh, Carol, as we actually going through here. Some really interesting numbers to point out. Of course, everyone, Andrew Mason, of course, is looking like the champion here, turning down that $6 billion uh, takeover offer from uh, Google, of course, just a few months ago. So right now, of course, filing for its IPO, initial registration of $750 million. We got some revenue numbers from them. And worth pointing out, in 2010, it made $280 million. In just the first quarter of 2011, $270 million. So you can see the extent of the growth that it's been able to do largely in part remember from those huge investments that it's gotten it's been able to really scale its staff its staff now by the way standing at about 7,000 employees remember Groupon fundamentally really not seen as a tech company as much as a sales company that is the bulk of their force and why they've been able to scale at the level they're scaling uh, worth pointing out really quickly here the March quarter revenue 644.7 million dollars um, it's looking right now looking again through this registration as we get some of these numbers going Again, everyone has been talking about Andrew Mason, the CEO, the very young CEO at Groupon, All Things D. He just spoke yesterday. By far the overwhelming response of people uh, at that, at All Things D. And through that uh, session was how composed and how certainly the leadership skills that he has brought to the company and some of the decisions that he's made, while not always respected perhaps in the Valley, now, of course, all of that coming to fruition as we go through this S1. I'm looking a little bit at some of the headlines that are continuing to come across right now. We're looking at who holds the different parts of Groupon. Of course, we know that Lefkowski, this was the first guy that invested in Andrew Mason. Remember, we were there when there was all the speculation about that Google uh, takeover. Lefkowski was the man that invested in, in Andrew Mason's first company, which eventually turned into Groupon. It was called The Point. He has about a 21.6% Class A stake in the company, so really holding a large part of that. Mason, Andrew Mason, the CEO, a 7.7% uh, Class A stake prior to the offer. So we're getting a lot of the different kind of holdings. Who has uh, holdings in this company? Solomon holding about a 6.8% holding. Um, and, you know, Carol and Matt, I'm going to keep going through this S1, and I will continue to bring you guys this information uh, as we start to get it. But big news, as you might imagine, in the Valley. Absolutely, Chris. Thank you so much.